Hello and welcome to Stampin' by Hannah. Today I have a um, notebook covering project for you. I've actually made these for everybody who has signed up for my um, March and probably April um, techniques class. And they're all personalised. Um, so this one um, will be giving out in um, on the 3rd of March. And as will the next one that I'm going to make. So I've bought um, these Jotter notepads from oops, just, lost a sheet, from um, the range. And you've got four for a pound. Which I think is a pretty good deal. Um, and they are just the Jotter size. So what I've done is I've measured um, this length this width and this depth um, to get my length of cardstock plus a little bit because you need a bit um, a little bit of the cardstock to come onto the back so this uh, this particular notebook is going to be in Lost Lagoon and this piece of cardstock measures two and three sixteenths of an inch by nine and a half and I haven't got the metric measurements to hand but they will be on my blog and the link is in the down bar below so I'm going to score at eight and three eighths and at eight and nine sixteenths. There we go. Which gives us two score lines quite close together. And we're just going to um Fold on both those score lines and burnish. If you don't burnish this um, project, you'll find that the cover of your notebook doesn't want to sit flat. So that will then sit neatly onto the front of your notebook, and you'll find as well there's a little lip, like a little what they call a leading edge so that your notebook is easier to flip off at the front. Now I'm not normally a fan of wet glue but for this project I'm going to use some um, Tombow liquid glue and we're going to just put it on the very end flap so just that bit there and the reason I've gone for um, Tombow today rather than sticky strip or fast fuse is because it, there's a little bit of movement and I found that was quite helpful <laughs> when putting your notebook over so if you put your notebook flat on the on the on your desk with the paper side down on top of your cardstock and butt it up to that first score line and then you can fold it over so that, that comes onto the back and just hold it for a couple of seconds just while that glue takes and there we have a covered notebook. So I've got a piece of Whisper White cardstock that measures two and nine sixteenths by eight inches that I have stamped twice with the uh, large dahlia stamp from the Regarding Dahlia stamp set, which is my stamp for my April Technique class. And I've got a piece of Scrap Whisper White um, and the Sophisticated Serif stamp set which has loads of little letters in. I love this stamp set actually. You get two complete alphabets, one in a small size and the other in a really big size. How oh, they're fantastic. Can you see the size of those letters? They're absolutely enormous. Um, and you even actually get some of the um, German letters and some lovely little swirls and flowers as well. So I have selected uh, one of the letters from that stamp set and I've got my Lost Lagoon and I'm just going to stamp in the middle and then I've got my one and three eighths um, circle punch around that letter and I've got my one and three quarter inch scallop circle punch and a piece of scrap lost lagoon uh, 
and I'm just going to pop the N onto there with a dimensional. And then I've got some fast fuse to pop the, my, my piece of Whisper White onto the front of my notebook. So, just like that. And then some more fast fuse on the back of my scallop circle just down there at the bottom and that is how to cover a jotter size notebook thanks for watching bye for now